Hey guys, it's Schmidt playing Minecraft, and I have some very, very, very exciting news. <laughs> oh no, dang it, sticky keys. Nope. But anyway, um, the Hunger Games Arena is officially done, and I will be playing with all of your favorite friends of mine <coughs> on Saturday, November second. And um, so I want to show you around a bit. And so if we go here, oh my god, I should not have done that with the fire charge. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, that was a derp. That, oh dear, I'm shouting like my old grandma, oh dear. But here's how it works, so we're down here and these ladders are under all the pedestals. Oh, wait, whoops, I need to fix that one second. Uh, uh, okay, ladder. No, oh, gosh. Don't make me fall. Okay, yeah. And so, while you're up here. Ah, uh, come on. Let me go down, please. Okay, here we go. Um, well, when you go up, and the arena has started, so just hold down shift while you're up here, and then when the countdown comes, the and just you just go up go up and then start running towards the um cornucopia i've stocked it with a whole bunch of uh cool stuff and so we have the entire butter weapon collection here the butter axe butter pick haven't you had enough butter butter sword and the butter shot and over here we just have butter apples butter apples oh. okay, so, and so we have a stack of torches and ingots and bowls we have cooked fish, melons, flint and steel, and booties. And then we have cactus, mushroom stew, and cobwebs. That just is nothing. That just is nothing too. Uh, but let's see her. Um, we have bread, leather booties, and shiny helmet. And we have the trapper's thing. Ladders can be very useful. We have redstone, and anvil, and piston. That means Goodbye to the person who under, under the. Yeah. All right, so now we have iron hole, pork chops, and shrubs. Um, we have the butter ingot, the oak leaves, and another fish rod. <coughs> we already did that one. Uh, all right, we have the melon, the cactus, and the leather shirt. And so over here. <clears throat> we have the pick of noobness plus two attack him yay and we have an ocelot spawner i couldn't think of anything else because that was my last chest i did and over here we have the iron chest plate enchanted book and very <gasps> it's not called a butter sword i need to change that one second um doo -doo 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 -doo. and no more fire charge because that is really dangerous all right get to this right click um Okay, it is not a golden sword. It is a butter sword. Butter sword. Enchantment cost seven for butter sword? Did you rename something? It's a ridiculous. Oh no, not the world of the axe. <laughs> but I did do some pretty gnarly stuff with that. Alright, butter sword and anvil. Oh, face on one. I don't care. Um. And so, if you're Alex watching this, no cheating, because if, you, if, you've, um, if you're starting to watch this, turn it off right now, because then you're going to know where all the chests are, and you're going to play in the Hunger Games. And so, we have noob food, lol. and, um, let's see here, we have, uh, yeah, uh, here we have, you got butter lucky, butter apples, dispenser, redstone, Arrows and treasure plate, so for trappers. Down here, and over here, we have Ron Paul and a cobble. As you can see, uh, Ron Paul is a, um, he's an iron axe. Alright, that's uh, lagging really bad right now. I need, I need, I need to uh, de crapify my computer. Why is a fire there? Eh, that's okay. That tree is not very important. And so there's a cow right there. Um, and down here, I put a little special just surprise. And 
so down here, where's the lava? Yeah, down here is the lava. Right next to the lava, you have to be very, very careful. I are being very, very careful by sh by sneaking right now. Okay. And so, you open this up, and you have... Surprise! TNT minecart! Redstone torch, um... Four rails and an activator rail. More for trappers. And I know somebody, a Hingrud, who is a trapper, and he is he's real clever. He trapped me a he trapped me a lot. Um, okay, so we go up here, but we don't want to sneak out, so I'm gonna fix that if people can see. Mm. Um, cow, fall, die to your death, cow. No, I don't care. But yeah. Um, let, let, let us shoot her. Uh, oh, sorry, the phone's ringing at my house. So, uh, yeah, just, um... Yeah, <clears throat> so that's pretty much it. And, um, I, and so for that, I'm going to do a little world edit tutorial for you guys. So I'm just pause the recording and find you a nice flat space. Yeah, okay, we are back. And so, um, I'm just turning on my volume. And so, um, what you want to do is do, um, so when you have World Edit and you've got installed on your awesome server, you do this. You want to go slash, slash, not just one slash, but two slashes. Wand. And then it will give you this little golden axe. I mean, oh, sorry, I wish it was a butter axe. But it is a wooden axe. It should be a butter axe. Oh, look at the sheep he's eating. Okay, but anyway. So, as you can see in the chat, it'll say left click, set position 1, right click, set position 2. E. Eh. I don't care what I say. Alright, and so now, if I want to build, and so, as you say, first position. So, your first position is the play, is your first, like, area where you want to record. I mean, not record, sorry, I think about recording right now, since I'm recording at this very moment where you want to, uh, it's the point where you want to, uh, start your, um, start your little structure that you're making. So you left click here with your, with your wand. And so it'll say first position set, and then if you want to make a little wall, another wall, like out to here, right click right there. And so once you have your two positions set, do slash slash set whatever you want to be. So I'm going to have Sasha set gold, and boom, it makes me a butter stuff! Yay! And so, um, hold on, let me just get some spare blocks. And so, if you want to, um, oh, what's this? Oh, is it nothing? Poo you nothing. But, um, now if you want to, um, uh, make a giant tower, which is, um, uh, just go like, go like this. And so you set your first. So you have to build the thing as high as you want, um, and then it gets way simpler for, um, from that. So you left click here, and you go over here, and it's direct path, which is like right here. You go right there, and so slash slash set gold, and boom, butter wall, wall of butter. Wall of holy butter, and so yeah, and also you can do it to remove stuff. So let me just I can demonstrate with this right now. So if I left click here on the butter block, sorry butter block, boom, and if I right click at the corner of it, it will go from up here. It will destroy this whole wall. So I'll do slash slash set air, boom, it's all gone. Now we need to change this butter stuff. So, um, well, actually, it just tunnels down to void. And so, um, another cool thing is, uh, compass. We have this. Now, um, actually, <coughs> let me just build something. Real quick. I just need to um, show you an example. So, um... Okay, so we have our compass. 
And so, the cool thing with this, land please, thank you. So the cool thing with this is that um, once you have world edit, it comes with a uh, single player command, which um, is another plugin, and it allows you to teleport. So if I left click with my compass, boom. Oh, too far. But, uh, sorry, hypercam. Three. I'm just mm, annoying. So now, um, if I go like boom, it'll teleport me right up here. And so if I want to go back to the butter wall, boom. Come right up there. Boop, do, 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 do. You can go along with this. Boop, 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 boop. Now, if you want to, uh, what do, you might be wondering, what does right click do? So if I right, so if I right click, it passes it pa passes me through this level. So that's why I did this. So if I was on top of right there, and I right clicked, I would end up right here. So let me show you. Oh no, I like my compass. Please give me my compass. It drops me down here. See? And so there is an effect called. Oh, whoops. There is an effect called a uh, slash super pickaxe, but I do not know if I can do that yet. And I will show you that later. And so, uh, I am going to start a tutorial channel, and it is going to be super, super, super awesome. And I'm going to do stuff like that, with like other plugins, and maybe like mods, and crafting, and stuff. And, and it's going to be pretty sick. Mm. So, um... I had a redstone head. Yes, and if you forget how to do that, then, uh, oh my gosh, I'm awful. If you forget how to do that, then you, um, have a block in your inventory and do slash hat. Boom! And then enjoy your new hat! Five, five, five. Now, I is a leaf head! Woo! Alright, and so slash hat. Back to my old thing and enjoy your new hat! Thank you very much! What is this? Oh, it's a giant block of wood to build to the build limit. Mm -hmm. And so, not much else went on while we were, um, while we were, uh, uh, while we departed for a very, very, very short time. Uh, just a lot of stuff. Yeah, I didn't get to recording in a while. But I recorded something yesterday, which I think is a very good accomplishment. But, uh, nobody was really on today, and I was kind of disappointed about that. So, like, why don't I just do a tutorial? And I had so much fun with that. I don't care if my aunt is online. Um, I want to show you how to make something very cool. And if you're a noob and do not know how to make this thing, then good for you, because you found the thing. So I'm going to make a nether portal. And for this, you need ten obsidian. Obsidia. Uh, obsidia. There we go. And you're just gonna need ten of it. And so here's how you build it. Um, oh yeah, you need flint and steel. Flint. Boom. And, boop. and let's go. Okay, so now, um, let's do this. So, you have to build your, ob and, um, by the way, if you're a noob and do not know how to do this, it takes a diamond pickaxe, and only a diamond pickaxe, to mine this obsidian stuff. If the obsidian is new to you, then, uh, contact me, and I can tell you all about it. No, contact Adam, he'll tell you all about obsidian. But now, so I have three obsidian, and just to save obsidian, you can put this block here, just a random block, and then do four up. Uh, what, what is it? No, it's actually three by three. So, um, let me see. Um, and do, do, do. And hold on. One second. And one here. Do, 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 do. And I think that is big enough. So, let me see. Oh, it's, I made it too big. So, you want to come down right here. And so, it's actually two by three then. Sorry. Noob up. And so then, if you want to, you can destroy these blocks and get you, like, your wood slash anything back. And boom, you have your own animal. And let's see here. Makes this nether ting. 
Now, let's go fight. Jump with these zombies. Boom and boom. Boom. Okay. There we go. Damn it, Zod. We fight the PDs. <laughs> Piggies, these are the piggies. And don't notice that they will they will that they will occasionally drop butter nuggets. They will drop butter nuggets. Occasionally actually. That's right, the first time. Ah. And they maybe drop you some rock flesh and maybe even a butter sword if you get lucky. All right, you. All your Place. Okay. Um, yeah. Yes, yes, I did. Oh! <laughs> so if you push it, apparently they're immune to lava, but not to fire. So if you cook them, then you get a quick pork job, which is very beneficial because it does full hunger things. So with that, the body was here. And if we. If you can hear a ukulele, that's my sister. <laughs> yeah, so I'll spawn a guest later and STOP IT ELLA! And I'm uh, sorry about that. Um I will see you all later. Bye. And stay tuned for Hunger Games! <laughs>